Hello, this is William with Motorsportsland. We're gonna do a tour of the brand new 2016 Raptor 398. A lot of new changes to the Raptors this year, which I'm gonna hopefully hit on all those with you. Might take a little bit of time, but bear with me. I think if you're interested in a uh, RV like this, it'll be pretty helpful. Uh, starting off with changes, we've got uh, the four-step aluminum uh, set up here uh, compared to what the, they used to have, which was the steel. Much sturdier and lighter, easier to work with to put in and out. Um, we're gonna wander up towards the front here, and I'll show you things as we go. A nice pass-through storage here. Uh, inch and a half thick uh, baggage doors here with the slam lock. Uh, latches on them, which is really nice. Uh, the gas struts here to hold it up, just top notch throughout. And here we've got the uh, hydraulic pump and lines and all that, uh, you know, easy access to get to if you have uh, uh, any uh, issues there or service items, which hopefully you won't. Uh, six point auto leveling system. I'll show you the control panel for this when we get to the other side, but uh, just really really stable with six jacks coming down hydraulic auto leveling you just push one button levels the whole coach out you take the six of those plus the six tires this thing's like it's on foundation uh, extremely solid doesn't move around at all in here we've got the propane tanks uh, two 30 pound propane tanks or seven and a half gallons each for a total of 15 gallons that keeps you going pretty well with that you've got the 5500 watt Onan generator here so that's uh, pretty much the largest generator you're gonna find out there. Runs off of its own dedicated 30 gallon fuel station, which I'll talk about a little more as we go down the side. This is a pretty cool feature here. We've got uh, LED lights, not only on the, the cap, but underneath the, uh, the uh, Raptor also, which is just kind of a nice ground effect there. This cap up front, this is uh, a painted cap, which is a really nice feature to have when you have a dark colored cap like this. These can, uh, if you've seen them out there, a lot of caps will start to fade over time, pretty much at the, the top uh, quarter of the cap. A painted cap is like your car, it shouldn't fade for uh, a long, long time. So a real nice feature there. And uh, you can see the LED lights up here also. You've got a uh, cable driven slide system on the uh, Raptor. I'll go over that a little more maybe on the inside, but uh, it's a great system for your slides. You've got uh, equal tension at all four corners, not just at the bottom. So uh, when it's out, it's, it's out, it's gonna stay against its seals real nice. Plus when it's in, same thing, it's gonna be squeezed in against these bulb seals and uh, create good, good pressure all the way around. This is your compartment for uh, your batteries. You've got uh, three trays here for three batteries. And then up inside, here's your auto level for the hydraulic uh, leveling system. And here's just a quick little uh, chart on how to work that, but it's really simple and extremely uh, easy to use. Other side of the storage compartment here. And then this is where all of your, uh, your hookups are. All in a nice convenient location. You've got a uh, door on the bottom here to bring your cords up through and have them uh, uh, tucked away nice and clean. And there's uh, your, your hot water bypass here, your uh, tank fill direction, whether you're doing uh, normal flow or you're filling up your onboard water. 132 gallons of fresh water, that's huge. I can't think of anything that's got more than that. So um, just a ton of water capacity there. You've got 12 gallon hot water tank. So that uh, pretty much will give you as much hot water as you can uh, use. Again, uh, the slides with the uh, the cable uh, slide system here, time proven. It's it's really the best way to go in my opinion. Well, coming down the side here, got your uh, your drains back here, your main uh, dump area. Your valves are up inside the heated and enclosed underbelly, so you're not going to have any fluids freezing at the the last uh, section of the pipes there, which is which is good if you're going to be doing any. Uh, extended season camping when it gets pretty cold. Again, you see more of these LED lights shining down underneath. And at nighttime, I mean, you can see them today, but we're inside, it's uh, lit up. At nighttime, that's gonna give just a nice light or lit area around the, the RV so that you can, uh, you can see things as you're walking around. Back here, you've got a 30 gallon uh, fuel tank for the generator that's uh, dedicated just for the generator. 
And then you also have another 30 gallon fuel tank that is for the, uh, the fuel station here with the pump so that you can fill the toys up. Or if you want to have a total of 60 gallons for the generator, you could uh, take this, pump some of that 30 gallons into the main 30 gallon tank for the generator too. So that's pretty cool. You got 50 amp service because you do have two ACs on the trailer, so um, the uh, cord to that's inside. You have the fold out ramp or uh, ladder, not ramp, and uh, you know it tucks away nice so it's not sticking out the side. And this is new this year too, not the uh, the patio deck itself, but the way they've put this this railing together, much much easier to use. I'm going to demonstrate how some of that folds in uh, when we go up inside. Aluminum steps on the back. Um, some of the other manufacturers have started doing this. Raptor started with the steps off the back and they've only improved upon it. So they've got a, uh, a real good system here. Nice light uh, steps there to work with. And we'll uh, take another look at this when we go inside. You've got the power awning off the back ramp patio with the LED lights. Pretty much LED lights around the entire trailer and inside. I, I don't think there's really any uh, 12 volt incandescent bulbs on the trailer. It's pretty much all LED at this point. You've got your frameless windows. One of the really nice benefits of frameless windows are you don't have any of the gasket showing around the edge. And what that helps with is uh, uh, not having your gaskets, um, you know, get exposed to the elements of sun, uh, you know, uh, caulking can go bad, dry rotting, things like that. So that's all hidden in behind the uh, frameless window. It's pretty much the same window you're going to see on your half million dollar motor home. So I definitely uh, step it up there. Another uh, awning here. You can see the LED light strip underneath and uh, aluminum steps again in the back here too. This is a pretty unique feature with Raptor too. They're one of the only two toy haulers I've seen that gives you a uh, full glass window on the door instead of the, the kind of opaque um, like shower glass type door. So it's kind of nice, you know, instead of having uh, something, that, well, looks kind of cheap. That's a very nice looking window. And you've got your outside speakers, all Sony, uh, all weather speakers. The uh, Raptors do come with the extreme temperature package, which is also uh, uh, just a nice feature to have. And I've talked to some customers who bought these trailers and had them in some extremely cold situations and not had any problems with freezing up. Um, and it's your wrapped, enclosed, heated underbelly. And they've been doing it for years and really have it dialed in pretty well for uh, for extreme temperatures and like I said, I've talked to customers have had it in really cold weather and uh, had very good luck with that. So with that, we'll head inside and uh, take a look at some of the other features. We're gonna head on back to the patio and I'm gonna show you how those new uh, railings fold in and some of the other features of that. And then we'll work on forward through the 14 foot garage up through the living room into the, the bedroom. So to start off with, uh, you know, here's your door. Pretty simple. You latch that shut, pull that, open it up. And then to, I'll, I'll show you how one side folds back in against the uh, door here. You step down here, kind of give a tug to that, a tug to the other side. And this whole setup is on wheels where uh, the previous versions, well, it, you kind of had to stretch them out and uh, it didn't work it nearly as well as this does. You pull this on over and just roll it right across. At the end, just give it a little lift up and there you go. Then this one does the same thing and folds in against this. So pretty simple. I'm gonna put it out. Now, when you get to the edge here, you'll see this just uh, right down here. Just clicks right in place. Same with that one. There you go. Pretty simple. Another new feature is this sliding glass door uh, on the back. They used to have screens that you'd pull down from the top, but now you have this set up here. These come right across. There you go. You've got screens and also uh, plastic inserts that you can put in here. Uh, you can see the plastic down here. So if it's colder weather, but you still want to have all this natural light coming in from outside, you can put the plastic in. And then these, the question comes up, well, how do you load things in here? 
just pull down this little cord right on the side, releases the latch up top. And then these, uh, well, when the awning's in, that swings all the way out to the side. Same deal here. So then with the ramp down, you just come right on up in. Okay? And they just shut. You've got the uh, little toolbox area here. Quite a bit of space in there. It goes back on either side. Good place just to leave uh, tie down straps, things like that. Um, you know, tools. Okay, come on inside. Another new feature this year is uh, how they've worked the, um, the bunks. You've got the uh, top bunk, which is all the way in the up position right now. Um, when the lower bunk's at the top, you can pull out a pin from each of the four corners, and then that'll let the top bunk lower down, and then it stops wherever you set the stop plate here in all four corners, and the, the uh, bottom bunk continues to go down. You swing forward like they did before to make the bed. And then uh, up out of the way, obviously. So what they've changed with this this year, when these go up, it goes up and actually folds down the side instead of spanning across. What that's done, uh, it gives you this full headroom height up here. That's about eight feet tall right now. Um, and what these do is they kind of come down the wall, which you'll see. So what you get there is uh, the ability to pull in your, your, uh, your razors, your, your uh, side-by-sides that have the taller roll bars with the, maybe the light set up on the top. Now you have pretty much unlimited height to work with. Um, so that's a real nice feature. People are gonna love having that. The garage, uh, not much has changed with that. They've stuck with the, uh, the time-proven uh, tie-down points here. Those are welded to the frame directly to the frame, 5,000 pound capacity on each one of those. So uh, the way I like to picture that is you could probably hang from one of these uh, two, maybe three side-by-sides. I mean, they're that strong. You know, times however many times you, you uh, tie the, your um, toys down. A lot of, lot of hold down strength there. They will not rip out of the floor. 14 foot garage in this uh, Raptor 398. That's a good size. That pretty much fits all of your four seat side-by-sides and then some. So you've got a lot of room there. This plant also has a half bath with a porcelain toilet. And what I like about that half bath is uh, you didn't take a 14 foot garage and then have the half bath coming out into the uh, garage area and limiting it down to effectively 10 or 12 feet. So it's all flush mounted right in there, which is good. You get the full 14 feet. Uh, new door that they've uh, worked with this year, nice big uh, glass door, nice and light. And you've got your, uh, your whole entertainment console up here. Here's your buttons for pushing, putting the, uh, the bed up and down, the uh, rear awning. You've got a third AC in this trailer, which you see right up above me. And that is running off a thermostat also, right? Here's a temperature sensor for that. The really nice thing with that is um, you can set the actual temperature you'd like to have it back here versus uh, the ACs with the blue to red dial on it where you're just kind of guessing at what temperature you're setting it. You wake up in the middle of the night and it's, you know, 55 degrees or something. So with this, you've actually got uh, temperature setting as do your, uh, your main bedroom up front and the living room area here. So you have three different zones that you can control the, uh, the AC on. So that's a really nice feature. Coming into the uh, living room and kitchen here, You've got a great uh, setup here. They've kind of changed things around Raptors. They used to put the TV sort of up in the front area here and you'd be sitting on a couch with your head all twisted to try to see TV. So they've redesigned it, moved the TV back here on this wall and set it at an angle. So from the couch, you get a real nice uh, viewing area of the TV. You've got the sound bar here. Obviously you see the fireplace down there. This, uh, as you probably know, is not actually flame. It's an electric fireplace, but it is a uh, space heater. So it will, um, it will heat up to 400 square feet, or as I say, warm up to 400 square feet. Actually runs on a thermostat. So if you're not wanting to use your propane and you have full hookups, you can just run uh, this and that'll take a good, uh, good bite out of the, the cold air. Um, they've put this nice LED backlit countertop in this year. Um, the 18 cubic foot propane slash electric fridge. Okay, so this will run off propane for when you're dry camping. 18 cubic feet. Um, 
not too many uh, trailers have this. It is, you are starting to see it in some of the, the other uh, toy haulers out there, but this is a, a feature that all of, the, um, all of the Keystone Raptors have. So real nice, you cannot complain with that much storage space. If that doesn't work for you, you got too much stuff. You got stainless steel sinks here, which have this new faucet, kind of a restaurant style faucet with the uh, spiral spring deal there. Makes it real uh, easy and functional for uh, cleaning dishes and whatnot. And the stainless steel, that's always good because you can always clean it. You can't really get stained. Like if you have a uh, Corian or plastic type uh, uh, kitchen, uh, it, it can get stained so you can always clean up nice. Solid surface countertop, drawers everywhere. We've got uh, three here, one under the stove. It's a 22 inch stove, which is nice. This is handy too. You've got the Corian countertops over the stove. A lot of times people aren't using the stove so much, they'd rather have the countertop space. Nice clean look to that. Huge uh, microwave here. And just storage everywhere you look. Um, they really didn't um, hold back on that. In fact, you've got over here a pantry, which is nice. Uh, again, they kind of moved the TV back there to give uh, more space up here and better viewing for the TV, but you've got this pantry now. Each one of these uh, couch sections reclines out. Just pull the, the cord there so all three of them recline out so you're nice and comfortable there. And there's still enough room to walk through uh, the hallway here. And this is a real nice feature too. You've got automatic uh, uh, retracting um, total blackout shades. So there's nothing that's as nice as that. The, the pleated shades that you'll see in a lot of trailers, the cloth ones. I've seen it when the, when the trades come in that are several years old and they'll be all messed up and they hardly work. This is uh, the same kind of shade they put again in nearly half million dollar motor homes. You've got the loft up behind you there, which has a lot of extra sleeping area there for one or two or three kids. And that area actually uh, comes around back to the right side there with more sleeping area back up over the TV. So it's, uh, you know, the kids love little nooks like that. You can put two or three of them up there and they'll be happy campers. Dry weight on this trailer. Sorry, jumping around a little bit there. It's on the door though. It's uh, 15,500 pounds. So you're definitely talking, uh, obviously something with a diesel to tow this and probably more practically speaking, uh, you know, one ton and, and maybe some airbags, things like that. But uh, 15.5 is a dry weight. So moving up front, you've got a king bed suite up here. It actually has some good usable space around the, uh, the bed. Sometimes with the king beds, they get a little tight on the sides and you can't, you can't really walk back along the edge. This you can. I'm about six foot tall. I'm actually up on this little uh, step here and still have a few inches above my head. So lots of uh, headroom up here. And again, that's back to what I mentioned earlier that drop frame uh, engineering they work with on these trailers gets that lower level down further to give you more room up front here. Uh, the third AC here, which again is running on its own uh, thermostat. Nice front closet, uh, some good space there. You've got your washer and dryer prep here if you wanna go that way. Um, you can take these shelves out to uh, put a stackable washer and dryer unit in there. And Really cool feature on this bed. You want to get extra comfortable watching TV? That uh, actually goes up a little higher than that too, but uh, gives you some nice uh, angle there so that when you're watching the TV here, you're more comfortable than at home. And then you can see right behind me here, the door into the bathroom, we've got a uh, pocket door. And it's hard for you to tell on, on TV, but I, in showing these Raptors, people are more impressed when they feel the, the weight of these doors. These are not hollow, cheap doors. It's solid wood here. You can definitely feel some weight here. You're not gonna be able to tell that on, uh, on camera, obviously, but all the doors are just very solid uh, doors, which is nice. Got the uh, one-piece fiberglass shower with the seat and, uh, and the... Uh, Shower head on the correct side. I can't tell you how many times I've seen the shower head on the side with the seat. I'm not exactly sure how that's supposed to work, but this is done correctly. It looks like about a 48 inch um, 
uh, wide shower there. Medicine cabinet here, drawers. Again, uh, porcelain toilet, not a plastic toilet. You got the indoor or uh, in-floor heat vent there. All of that good stuff. So that about wraps it up. Uh, I'm sure I missed some things. Um, the um, gray tank, 82 gallons, black tanks, 82 gallons. Of course, you'd see that on the brochures. Um, but anyway, a lot to go over. A lot of really great new things with the Raptor this year. We're thrilled with it, and uh, I think you'll be too. So swing on down to Motorsportsland. Again, I'm William. Be happy to help you out, and uh, thanks for your time.